This is your host, uh, Lady Badon. See, I'm going to say something about Math Man Plus. Well, I don't even know what that means. Oh, so I wanted to start off the show by showing you my beautiful sweater. Wait, can I fly back a little bit? Oh, it's asking you, do you want to tag me in the um, video? Oh, oh, oh. I'm modeling this beautiful sweater that I purchased from um, a dear friend of mine that I went to high school. She came up with a dope organization called um, Bullying is Bad. I know we're using a front forward facing camera so you really can't see um, the logo correctly. So I'll post a picture of it later on. But it's um, a great cause. Um, you can follow her on Instagram, I believe. Her Instagram name is actually bullying is bad. A uh, situation occurred with um, her daughter, which led her to create this organization. So I'm always down to support anyone doing something great in the community. So I'm all about supporting my people as well. You know what? Sidebar. Before we get into the real conversation, and you're real, you're really no, no, don't say anything. Don't, don't, say anything. <laughs> don't say anything. Don't say anything. Before we get into the conversation that we're really going to talk about tonight. I actually want to speak about my issue when it comes to us supporting one another. And I'm not just talking about black businesses because you can have a friend from another nationality. If you're considering someone your friend, I don't understand why there's issues when it comes to supporting each other. For instance, I, I tell people this all the time. You, I personally feel like I can call you and be like, Ronnie, I'm going to sell shit on a stick. And you'll be like, oh. Let me get some shit three, on a stick. Right, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> put three to the side and I'll come over to pick it up tomorrow. Like, I feel like that's what friendships are, is about. And honestly, support to me comes in all different um, categories. It doesn't necessarily mean taking money out of your pocket and buying that product that that person is selling or investing or whatever the case is maybe in that particular person. You can show support in several different ways. You can um, tell people to go to that person's page and support them. You can ask for a couple of their business cards and hand it out to different events. Just there's different sorts of supporting. So I don't understand why it's so hard when you consider someone a friend, you're supposed to want to see that person do well. Now, I don't know if that's a form of self-hate. What do you think? Self-hate? No. Yeah, because some people may not want to support you because they may want to be there where you are. They may want to be in that particular position that you're in. They may, may not have the ability to um, come up with a great idea or something is holding them back from being an entrepreneur or pursuing their goals. So they might say, well, why should I support them when I'm here not doing nothing at all? I don't know. It could be a bunch I of different things. I think a lot of people are living check to check, and they just, they're barely holding on to what they have, and they want to. I mean, I got to support everybody if I could. I mean, I'm pretty sure everybody would support at least, you know, at least their people, you know, in their, you know, neighborhood or in their community, and but some people just can't, so. That's what I'm saying, like. Support does not always have to come from the financial aspect of it. Just because you're selling a product doesn't necessarily mean I have to buy that product because I may not be able to afford it. I may want to, but I can show you support doing other things. Like I can post a picture of your product to my page like, hey, my friend is selling these. If you're interested, buy it. Like I said, you can show support in a thousand different ways. But Some for people us, are just not creative and you just need to let them know, hey. Post it on your page. I don't think a that's a bunch idea. of bullshit. I don't think it has anything to do with creativity because I wasn't as creative as I am now until I met you. You ain't post shit to your page about my product. You ha you supported me in different ways. There's different ways you can support. I like people. the shit out of stuff. I'll come eat. That's what I'm saying. That's another thing. You can like the shit out of the person's post. You can make comments under it. You can share. You know how many of my friends that shared my posts. Um, when I uh, posted something to my page when I first started uh, Recipe and Laundry, my catering business, shout out to my business. Um, do you know how many of my friends actually, without even telling me, just took a post that I put on my page and just copied and sent it to their page and said, hey, my friend is um, catering. You know, if you're interested in hiring a catering company, hire her. Like, that's a form of support. It's not always about signing a check or handing money over it's a whole bunch of different ways you can support your friends so basically i'm trying to say like guys like seriously support your friends 
period. Ask for a stack of their business cards. If you know you're going to work, you may leave a couple of um, business cards on your co-worker's desk. That's another form of support. So stop it. Anyway, you want to chime in on that or we're done? No, no, I, I'm, I'm not really big. I'm not the most proficient with, with social media. I'm, I'm coming along. I'm coming along. So the whole copying and posting, I didn't know that was a thing. So, hey, I'm going to do it, I'm gonna do it we, going forward. We both know that I'm the brains behind social media when it comes to this. See? And the reason, I don't know, you should blame yourself because you should have made me aware that that was a possibility. I don't know these things. No, but what I'm trying to say to you is I don't necessarily need you to copy and post anything of my product to your page because you show me support in a thousand different ways. So, I'm, I was just... <laughs> giving some examples. Yeah, no, no. I'm going to be, be copying and posting going forward. Whatever. Anyway, so let's get to the actual subject matter tonight. Can you see that? Yeah. No, you can't. Oh, you're welcome, honey. And it is bu hashtag bullying is bad. Yes. So follow my girl on Instagram and read the story. Read. There's a great story behind why she started this organization. So I'm down for supporting everyone if i can but go ahead this is t this show is all about you and what you wanted to talk about i will be the co-host you're gonna be the host of tonight's show okay Boom. so i'd like to to preface this with you know this i am not trying to piss anybody off this is a, a, a touchy subject and i just want to have a conversation okay so let them know what the conversation is that you want to talk about you want to tell them how we even got to the conversation I mean, how far you want to go back to it? Just let the people know. Okay, okay. So a couple of days ago, I called my friend and I let her know that I was having a problem uh, not playing a certain music and I got hung up on. I hung up on him. Keep going. Now, prior to this whole, you know, TV special and, and this being on the Facebook everywhere, everybody was rocking his music and the music was... Was was decent, and we were all, you know, oh, that's my shit. Oh, I'm just playing the next one, play the next one. But now you can't even play it because people get upset. Well, no, 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 no. You can play it in the comfort of your home, or if I'm not around, you can play it. I just don't want to hear it because I'm not supporting him anymore. So, so I'm in a service position where I, I drive people around and and I play the music, and nobody. Not one person said anything. Well, it's your car. I don't see anyone telling you to turn that off. Well, somebody could have said something. Nothing. Nobody. No Caucasians. No African Americans. Nobody said anything. I'm going to be honest with you. Just because Surviving R. Kelly came out is not the reason why I'm telling you I don't want to listen to his music. For a long time, I kind of was not no longer on R. Kelly bandwagon i fell off being a supporting fan years ago when i heard all of the allegations when he when i heard this story about him and alicia Aaliyah, i said alicia lord Aaliyah. um at that point in time i started looking at him with one eye but i think we swept that issue under the rug and then he started hearing other things and around that time i was like okay one it's, it's maybe something to look into. Two, there's, there's fire. Where they, they say where there's smoke, there's fire. And I was like, oh, I don't know if I want to mess with this dude. So I'm actually happy that this whole Surviving R. Kelly came out on Lifetime. And they're putting him on blast. So Now, now I didn't watch it. so You should. I, I haven't had time. So from what I understand, these girls who wanted to spend time with him did what he told them to do, or did what he yeah, told them to do? You probably should watch the the um this uh, um, I mean, documentary. This man doesn't have mind control. He doesn't have superpowers to make people do, you know, anything. So they're mad because they did what they wanted to do. Okay, but there's several different stories by several different women, different age groups. Some start as early as fourteen, and I think there was somebody that was all the she was like third. 20 something late 20s when she met him so if you look at the story as a whole you will understand why people are hashtag mute r kelly because to me when you're 14 first of all 
statistically speaking, they said the human brain doesn't develop until you're the age of 25, right? So your views of what you want in life, the things that you want to do, at the age of 14, don't you think it's going to change drastically when you turn 25? The things I did when I'm 14, I'm looking back on it now like, what the hell was I thinking? So at that moment, just because the girl may be interested in engaging in whatever she did with R. Kelly, you trying to tell me as an adult... Hold up. They said 14 or they said 16? You don't remember the sex tape? Well, I remember. I, I watched the alleged, it. I'm okay. going to say alleged sex tape. No, because, not alleged. I, I watched most of it. But then, no, no, no. We have to say alleged because in the court of law, he, he's not guilty for that sex tape because the family oh. turned around and said no, it I'm wasn't not, her. I'm not saying... Okay, look, look. So I'm not saying it was or wasn't him. I watched the tape. You did? Yeah. You really did? Yo, my boy, my boy brought it home. He said, "Let's let's check it out." But my boy's girl was there, so we got through most of it until she got offended. Then we had to turn it off. I understand why she got offended, but what do you think after watching the tape? Oh my god! Hold on, hold on. How old was she? How old was she? That girl was fourteen years old. Was she? Oh. Yeah. How you watch the tape? I saw what happened. I didn't get the whole... Look, look, I'm not one of those guys that follow celebrities to find out everything they do. I mean, I'll hear about something. I'm like, really, that happened? And then I go about my business. So I, I watched the tape. And I guess after the fact, his, I don't know, brother looks like him or something, or his uncle or whatever happened. So his younger brother supposedly was... Um... His body double on some video he, that he looked he did really a long familiar. Time ago. Time. I mean, he was really close resemblance. Now, me personally, I mean, it really did look like him. But I mean, you know, I'm not the professional of you know seeing somebody and knowing you know what's going on. But so allegedly, that was um, R. Kelly on the tape. Right? Allegedly, because that little girl lore. was grown enough to come on. Did you see it? I don't want to see it, honestly, because as a mother, first of all, I wasn't a mother then, but just me being a woman and knowing that when you're 14, your mind state is going to be different when you're 18 and then when you're 21. It, no, I, I I just couldn't understand it. I don't understand what a grown man, how a grown man can look at a 14-year-old body. You didn't see it. And don't get me wrong, I understand some of us develop faster than others. You can't possibly tell me that a 25, 26, 27, whatever age he was at that point in time could look at a 14-year-old and know in his mind this is a child and still think that still can actually get aroused. Like, that's disgusting to me. And I hope they bury him under the jail. Hold up. He's not guilty. He didn't go to court for anything, did he? Well, I'm, she was 13. So I would say she? she was 13. Was she, she was, was she 13 then? Oh. Even more sick. At 13 years old, she was all in. Granted, no, no, I watched the video. On the video, it appeared that she was down for what was going on. Now, not saying it was right or wrong. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying on the video, she appeared. Do you know how many things you're down for when you're young because you don't know what the hell you're doing until you reflect back and you're like, what in the God's creation was I thinking? Do you know that? Is my cousin calling me on Instagram? I'm not saying I'm not saying anything about right or wrong. I'm just saying. Yeah. Now, now. No, changing. Calling. Go ahead. No, you can keep talking. Changing gears for just a moment. Hey, I cuz. Mean, why people? Yeah, I just wanted to get in on this. Okay, come on. Let me turn it up a little. I'm bit. wrong again, right? Hold on. <laughs> I want to make sure. It's, talk. Say something again, so I might have to call you back on another phone. Let me All make right. sure. All right. I think I can hear you, but. Let me call you from my actual phone because I have it connected to a Bluetooth because I want you to be clear, okay? I didn't say anything about right, right or wrong. I'm just saying what I watched <laughs> on the video now when... Oh, you got nervous because my <laughs> phone when you go to about to chew your ass he's, out? He's never on my side. <laughs> you can't say that. You just got to have a topic what he's on your side about. Oh, I didn't even know he called <sighs> me at 810. Uh, see, look at you. I'm sorry, You got the, the volume on? Yeah, it's connected. Hey. Hey, guys. Yeah. What's up? Uh, well, I, I guess I wanted to start by asking if you listen to the Kelly 
listen to Michael Jackson's music. Do, I do. If I, oh, for me, or is the question towards me or? So what do you? Um, yeah, I listen to Michael Jackson music. But Michael Jackson had a million allegations. Um, what is the difference? Because you were little children. I want to tell you why. Because when Michael Jackson passed away, a lot of those accusers came out and said they lied. And honestly, right, and, but, they're, but and, they're still open, you know, think there's there's a lifetime special now about Michael Jackson coming out. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, that might that might sway my mind um, when I look at that. Like to Michael Jackson. If it turns out that he was really messing with little boys, absolutely. I'm not down for none of that. Okay, absolutely. That, that one cut by uh, Floor Tree that they the, the the butterflies one. That's a hot cut regardless of who sung it. Floor Tree wrote that. So they it wrote it, Michael but Michael Jackson also sung it. They and they did. Own... They both did a good job. Right, and they had their own rendition, so I probably won't listen to his. So, but... so, so, so you two guys are very good friends. Would you say that? Yeah, absolutely. Right. And you started tonight by saying that, you know, he has supported you in many different ways through this journey that you're on, yeah? Mm-hmm. So, in a year's time, God forbid, you, you find out something really awful. Does that change what he did? Does that change the support that he gave you? No, absolutely not. You right. My so, why is it so difficult now to, to separate the, the music from the person? Because it's not the music that did the act. It's the person. So, you could condemn the person. You could say you don't want to hear from him. You don't want to go to any of his concerts. You don't want to buy any more of his music. That's no problem. But why is it, you know, why are people who choose to listen to his music now being condemned? Because I'm not going to continuously put money in a pedophile's pocket. Because when your song gets played on the radio, that's money in your pocket. Every time I decide to listen to it, that's no, no, money no. in your so pocket. No, no, no. So we're not, we're not talking about radio. So let's, many people would have bought his CD or had his music. And, and they, they, they own it already. Like, I own what I was listening to. I wasn't streaming it from Spotify where he's making more money. I was off my phone that I already have downloaded. This is mine. Listen, we, I have my personal beliefs about certain things. And I understand the point that you're trying to make because don't get me wrong. But I'm the type of person when I cold heartedly feel some, some way about something, it's across the board for me. To me, I, I have a daughter and I can't imagine that the people who's actually telling the truth about their situation, I can't fathom how they felt. Like, I was watching Survivor R. Kelly where this lady tracked her daughter down at the hotel. And the daughter was staring at her because the cameras were there. So she couldn't really react the way she wanted to react. Because she knew if he found out that the mother was there to get her, it would be a, an issue. Like, I put myself in that woman's shoes. And I was like, I would have died. Like, how was the girl? Died. At that point in time... When I did, I think when they did Surviving R. Kelly, she was probably 18. But she was already in his, you know, they, they call it a cult. I don't think it's a cult, but whatever they want to call it. They was, she was already pretty much brainwashed by him at an earlier age. I would have died if that was my child. Like, I go hard for my kid. And to know that someone was able to come in and brainwash her to the point where she doesn't... Her whole look changed. She went from being feminine to a straight tomboy under his watch. That would have broke my heart. And I feel like my emotions and the fact that I decide not to listen to his music is actually coming from a parent's perspective. Because I literally bawled through the whole Surviving R. Kelly. Like, there were certain right. parts... So, so, so pause right there. So... Now, the other side of this discussion is, so I believe it came out that, I would, let's just say he had a pretty traumatic child. He right? did, he did, he did. Right, and that is consistent with what we would have heard about Michael Jackson and what we would have heard about many other people who have gone on in life to do, let's, let's just say, bad things. So why, why is it? Why is no one saying that we have failed him, you know, in his childhood, failed him as he went through his journey of life? Why is everyone... I agree with whatever he has done and it being wrong. Let's not mix up the two. But I'm saying there's a failure that has occurred in his life also that has led him to this position. 
I agree. And, and it's being ignored because, I mean, you know, I, I think we have to, to move away from the raw emotion and start trying to see, okay, what is the solution? And I don't think the solution is just everybody going around back talking to Kelly. I think we, you know, we have to look at how do we prevent this from happening? You, as you say, you, you, you both have children. You don't want your children to end up in, you know, a similar light. And therefore, you kind of have to look at, okay, what can I do to make sure that my child doesn't have this experience, doesn't feel neglected, doesn't feel like they need to lash out at others because of something negative that has happened in their life. Okay, and you're right. The The village actually did fail R. Kelly when he was a child. But how many of us has to have to pay for that? And I say that to say... Um, we all, first of all, mental health is a huge issue that needs to be addressed, right? And I really think there's something mentally wrong with him. However, how many of us have grown up or grew up in homes where there were certain things that was being taken um, place that we as society will look at being wrong, but when you grow up and you know the, right, the difference between right or wrong, you decide to lead a different path. For example, I grew up in a household where my dad beat the living light of my mother, okay? I started becoming the abuser. When I started diddling and dabbling into relationships, I started becoming the abuser. I had to take a step back and be like, hold. Oh, you grew up witnessing this, so why are you now turning around and demonstrating the same thing on your partner? You need to stop. And I had several different conversations with myself. Where now, when I get upset, I check myself. Cause right, I don't. But do, would, you, would you agree that your life, your your adult life, is significantly different than his adult life? When you spend your, you, you know, a long portion of your life in front of the cameras, you have a lot of people who are just the neighbors. They're just yes men or yes women. Then you really don't have anybody in your life who's gonna check you and put you in place. Right, because everybody's just really on your payroll, as opposed to you, who has that person sitting right next to you, who you would consider your real friend, who would tell you if you're going wrong. But no one checked me about my abuse, but myself. No, I looked but at myself. Do, but you looked at Yeah, but you were in front of the camera. You weren't having people screaming your name, making you feel like everything that you're doing is right. And um, trust me when I tell you, I I blame. Not only his family, I blame his entire camp, okay? Because um, that interview he did when I forgot the name of the um, journalist who asked him the question, so do you like teenagers or are you into teenagers? I forgot how, however the question was composed and he asked, well, what do you consider a teenager? You're like, whoa, um, a teenager is a teenager and anything that ends with teen well, well, is a teenager. Not, not necessarily because... 18 is grown. 17 is questionable in some states. 16 as well. 18 is not 15 grown. 15 is absolutely out of the question. 18 is not grown. Well, I mean, you're saying by the mindset, but I mean, by the law, at 18, you can go get an apartment. 18 is not grown. You can get an apartment at 18. You can't buy liquor. You can buy a car. <laughs> you can sign contracts at, at 18. Yeah, you can get a credit card at the age of 18. That All right, so 18, you're right. grown. Anyway, thanks for calling. Cause oh, I'm sorry, did you finish? I didn't want to cut you off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'm good. You sure? Yep. All right, love you. All right, love you. Yeah, um, I, I have a problem with that. I'm not supporting. No, and like I said. So 19 is wrong too. If it's got you're a teen 22, on the end. if you're it's 22 a... and you're dealing with a 19 year old, no, there's not a problem with that. If she's 19 and you're 30, there's a problem with that. Dude, that actually isn't, though. A after 18, there's no statutory. What type of conversation can you possibly have with a 19-year-old besides what college are you currently enrolled in? Who, who me personally? Yeah. I'm asking you a question. <laughs> okay, well, so do you have a story where you actually dealt with someone that was younger than you? Well, up until... <sighs> what? Up until late 20s, they were younger than me, usually. Okay, there was an age range, the age difference. You know, you know, most of them was 18. And you were how old? I was older. <laughs> oh, wait, 
Stand in your truth. <laughs> I'm just saying. Me. I'm just saying. Stand in your I'm just truth. Saying. Because if you want to pull up, if you want to make a point out of something, you got to stand and embrace it. I just called myself an abuser. I'm standing in my truth. You got to stand in yours. Well, look, so I was online today and there's this thing called the, the Romeo and Juliet. No, no, no. Answer the question. Then you could go in all of your statistically speaking well, type shit. Well, <laughs> there's these rules. Okay, look, look. The internet is a, is a That's not bounty of question, information sir. that I wasn't checking into before, and I may have made a slight error in judgment. Sir, what is the age? What age of what? Huh? what? How old were you when you were messing with this 18-year-old? Huh? Well, it depends on what state you're in, how many years you can go. I learned okay, that. So clearly now, clearly now it's an issue for you because you huh? don't even want to tell I thought it was age. 10 across the board, but it's not. It's not 10 across the board. So right now, looking back on it, it was something you wouldn't do again? Well, looking back on it, if I if I'd have known the exact rule, you know, I'd have been like, oh, screw no. Screw rules. Screw rules. Huh? Morally speaking, screw rules. Morally speaking, looking back on it, would you do it again or would you be like, hey, it was good. I probably would. Mm -hmm. Ugh, I don't even know why I even asked that question. Mm -hmm. Morally speaking, huh? you would do it again? Would do what again? Why are you making that face? Oh, God. So, so tell everybody how old you were when you were messing with this 18-year-old. Well, what I told you, okay, the last episode, I was telling you about an 18-year-old and I was like 26 to 28, you know. Which one? 26, 28. Oh, I, I don't recall. No, I really don't. It was it was about around that age, around that era, and. And if I was your friend, then I'd be like, "Why are you sleeping with an eighteen-year-old?" Okay, year old so girl? in the last episode, in the last episode, we had this, we had this, you know, we talked about it. But the people in the house, they 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 was looking out for me, like, "Whoa, how old is she?" Because again, I checked her ID because as soon as I saw her, I was like, "Oh no!" So no. not only was she young, she looked younger than eighteen. Yeah, she did look younger than 18. She was <laughs> so much fun. But she was 18. You're looking at me like she wasn't 18. I just said she was 18. But still. It was it was fun up until the end. So then, what's younger? She looked she was 18, but she looked what? Huh? 13? Huh? How old does she look? Just younger. Just younger. Like, give me an idea. Like, too young to be over here spending time with me just younger, younger and you were able to was i i told you the two thumb thing right oh my god oh that was her that was her oh rodney what what i checked id if you told me that she looked young yeah i understand checking id but if okay i wouldn't she, check id unless she, she looked was younger. 18 and she looked 18 or looked older still no but i okay Again, again, but she's 18, I didn't even know. You're trying to tell me she look, looked look, like she was I didn't even 13. Know how, I didn't even know she looked like until I got there to go get her. And then when I checked the ID, what I was like, have, What does that have to do with you still going through with the whole process? You could have been like, You know again, what? Again, again, it only I took know me 10 your minutes ID to get says there. 18, but I'm not really comfortable with this. You need to go home to your mama. You still look like you need to develop a little bit mentally and physically. Anyway, moving right along. That's sad. Wait, huh? What? Let's all pray. It's like, she was 18. It was sad. Because you said she looked younger than 18. That's why I checked ID. Anyway. But I, as, a, as a responsible adult, I checked ID. What? Oh, Kimberly. Hey, Cam. Girl, I wish I could see. Rodney switched our whole viewing thing around. So now we're looking, we're um going live on his iPad. So I can't even see what you said, but I, I know it gotta um, be good. You know what? Let me see if I can log in from my Facebook online. Right there. But anyway, keep going, talk to the people because this is your subject and you can continuously say what you gotta say because that's crazy. Alright, so me and my, my bestie over here, we've been Tell them feel... why I hung up on you. Oh, I think you started yeah, telling yeah, them. Yeah, yeah. She hung up because of the music, and I don't think that was. I own that music. I wasn't paying them extra or nothing. It was. It was just music, and I think you started telling oh, people were. Uh, you know, they was bounced it. They were singing along with the music. I'm like, no. The, well, the people that I came across didn't care. And again, I'm not one of those 
individuals who, you know, follow everything. And I wish I had a chance to, and I will in the next couple of days, you know, watch this, this, uh, this, uh, lifetime and, and see what the deal is. Cause you know, I'm not really one of those, you know, follow people, but I mean, I don't understand why everybody's getting upset because I mean, he's not, he doesn't have mind control over people. These people did what they wanted to do. Oh. Now, granted, 14 is a little young. And 15 is a little young, too. That's 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 13 is really, really young. That's young. But 18, if they were 18 and above, he should get no flack over none of that. Okay, well, Kim said Kim um, she doesn't see that being a problem. She was 19 and her first was 31. I guess she said she also felt like she was mentally ahead of the game. So she had her own car, her good, she had credit, and she had her own place, so... Right, 18, you're an adult. 19 and 31? 19, you can... Okay, uh, Hugh Hefner. Um, he's like, he's what? He's another one. 80, these girls are like, what? 21? He's another one. I mean, it's legal. It's legal, legal. Now, now, 16 is pushing it. It's 15. I mean, as a 19-year-old girl, I can see you saying, oh, I got an older man, you know, he's gonna take care of me. Or even if he's not taking care of me, you know, the whole thing about having an older man. But to me... From the older man perspective, I feel like him looking at the situation, he should be like, you know what? She okay. kind of is still a child. No, no, no. So this is the way I see it. And okay. what are you, what kind of, co okay, so for okay. him, right. exactly. him, can you answer this? What kind of conversations were you having with this man when you were at dinner or when you were on the phone? I would love to know well, what type of conversation. Well, she had credit. She had a car. She was having adult conversations. Yeah, but I would like to know what type of conversation this man had with you. Was he guiding you? Like, what What did you gain from that relationship for him being that like, much Girl, older? let me tell you how to hook this credit thing up. She said she already had good credit, so she didn't need him to hook anything up. So, was he guiding her in other ways? I, I'm trying to figure out what did she gain from there that was relationship. Some networking involved. You know, what did he gain from fine her? fine dining, absolutely. What did he... I could see him uh -huh. gaining, I could see her gaining wisdom from him, but I'm trying to figure out what did he gain from her? Was it just sex? Like... That's a game. Ugh. You don't think it's a game? You're trying to tell me you can't have sex with somebody that's in your 30s? That's a game, too. Well, as they get older, they start to get lazy and You know less what? Fun. I'm over you with this bullshit. Okay, changing the subject. Changing the subject. Okay, so... First off... Hold on, hold on, change the subject. Change the subject. Women, no. I, first off, it's older women who's above 30 is lazy. Then it's professional women aren't fun. Like, So, exactly. That's what I'm talking about. Where are you getting these things from? Okay, change the subject. <laughs> so, so females mature at a faster age than men. She was guiding him. That's crazy. Right. See, females mature faster than men. Well, I agree on that. Okay, so a younger female and older men, they could be on the same playing field. He didn't even have credit. Girl, then you should have left that Negro alone, okay? You being 19 and him being 31, he should be the one guiding you. Have, well, I would have been like, I'm sorry, am I teaching you? don't know you all the, the aspects of the relationship. How to get good credit have, and I'm 19, I would have been like, boy, goodbye. I would have been like, bye, bye, bye. credit? Bye. At 30? Yes! Come on. He gained a lot from her. All right, he, he, he needed her. Done. I mean, they yeah. were they need each other. He if there was I'm something. Take somebody okay, that much older he than provided me, he's something. Be he, me. There was something about him that attracted her to him. What was that? She can answer that. When yeah. I was in my, I want to say, mid to late twenties, I did date someone that was ten years older than me, but he had a lot of wisdom. He had, you know, he had a great job. He had he already had his own property. He was buying more properties. So there were things I was able to gain from this person. And then again, I was in my twenties, so I could date whatever. But And that's when you were abusing him? I wasn't abusing him. Oh, oh no, that Negro was abusive. Yeah, no. Okay, so a little bit about me. I grew up faster than I should have. I didn't get a chance to to date the the young girls back when I was young. I dated older women, for example. Okay, he had when, money. When I was when I was 16, 15, 16, I moved out. I moved into the house with my girlfriend, who was 24 at the time. So, while I was going to high you school, were 15 or 16 and you moved in a girl that was 24 and she was your girlfriend? Right, she was my girl. I moved in with her, but I was still going to high school. So, I would go to high school, I would get off I'd work one job. I'd work another job. I'd go to high school. I was a, I was, I was motivated to, to get some stuff done. And she was a good girl. 
So you say about everybody else. Right. So, I mean, when I was younger, I was dating older women. I got a little bit older and started dating slightly younger women. But, I mean, age is nothing but a number. R. Kelly said that. I'll punch you in your face. <laughs> Hold up, there's this one cut. It seems like you're ready. Yo, that was my cut for a while. Yeah, and you want to know why he made up that song? That was him trying to convince them young girls that... And you know what it works? Don't cry. I know this is wrong. But you're ready. No, it seems like you're ready. It's up to you to say you are. Are you? You are? Okay, let's see. No, no, don't look at me like that. I'm just I'm just in the <laughs> mind of R. Kelly right now. <laughs> okay, so Ken said he had potential. That's why she gave right. him a shot. But honey, really... You're so ill. You're so judgmental. Realistically you can't see speaking, potential? like I have a lot of potential. You're 19 and he's 31. You saw potential. You sh he should have had a plethora of potential. Age means nothing after 18, right? Am I right? Oh. After 18, age means nothing. Okay, I, so she, he had money. Okay, so how did that help you out? Like, was he giving you money to invest? Um, clearly, you didn't, you didn't need it because you said you had a. A great job in your own place. So, was he helping you pay the bills? Why is he got a helper? I'm asking a question. I want to know what he, why he stayed around, because it can just be all money. It has to be a little bit more than that. She said I was young and I liked him. Okay, girl. See? I mean, it is what it is. I just, I don't know. Like I said, the only time I dated someone that was older than me, I was in my mid to late 20s, and he was 10 years older than me. 10 years. Same 10 years. I had. I was in my mid. I'm sorry. To late I'm sorry. I'm 20s. sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Ten years after eighteen, it ain't nothing but a number. She was eighteen. Ten years is ten years, regardless. No, ten years is not ten years, regardless. Okay, because if we're speaking about somebody that's ten, we're not talking about somebody that's ten. We're talking about somebody eighteen. No, you just said ten years is ten years, regardless. Right after eighteen. Oh, after I didn't eighteen, hear that part. it's just a number. It doesn't even matter. That's disgusting. If you if you find somebody and y'all have a connection, and she's 18, does it matter? You come 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 up in my house with an eighteen year old talking about this is my girlfriend. And wow. I find out she's okay. eighteen. Well, I can't do it now I'm because like, yeah, well, no no no, no. after eighteen I can do it. Excuse okay. my language. Give me a chance. I'm not gonna give you a chance to do that. How old are you now? I'm I'm, I'm pushing. Um, oh, that's right, pushing forty five. You better not be dating no eighteen year old. I'm about to be forty four. Oh, that's right. Sorry. <laughs> This birthday is January 22nd, guys, so don't remember. Uh, don't forget to... January 23rd. 23rd? 1, 2, 3. I said 23rd. <laughs> January 23rd. Oh, that's right. Okay, January 23rd is his birthday. And mine is February 4th. Shout out to the Aquarius. Oh, Kim is an Aquarius, too. Is she really? Yeah. Hey, Kim. I Kim, that's... Um, great. She was over here the other uh, the time, right? I met Kim. Really? Yeah, she met Kim, Kim several times. Kim, you should come out or hang out or something. You, I ain't seen you in like years. She lives in South Jersey. We're in South Jersey. No, I'm sorry. She lives in North Jersey. I'm bugging today. Maybe I need a drink. Like, my brain is all scared. <laughs> Maybe it's the bright light. I don't know. She lives in North Jersey. And of course you know her. Don't you follow her per um, perception code? Yep. Do you really? I do. I chime it in sometimes. Oh, okay. Good. So yeah, support my friend. I wasn't best at choosing what was... See, there you go. What, what, what? She said, although she was mature, she wasn't best at choosing what was right for her at that time. That's what I'm saying. Like, the things that we've done when we were younger... Live and learn. When we reflect back... I'm going to tell you right live now. Live and learn. Live and learn. I was 14 years old, right? Dating... I was in junior high school, and I was dating someone that was a senior in high school. I'm looking back on it now like, what? And could you, can you imagine my daughter? But you felt baller back then, right? Well, at a t at that point in time, I didn't see an issue with it. Right. And I'm, now that I'm looking at it, I'm like, why did my mom not see an issue with that? You think my 14-year-old daughter, well, no, she's 17 now, but you think when she was 14, she could have come, come home and tell me that she's interested in dating somebody that was in, that's in high school, that's about to graduate? I was 14 dressed up going to a senior prom i see a problem with that right now and i'm speaking about myself not just as a mom i'm looking at it like what the hell did that an 18 year old boy 19 probably saw in me so what y'all talk about what y'all do together huh we he did take me out because he had his own car okay. and he had a job and we were able to go out okay. but what y'all talk about I don't remember. Regular stuff? Was, that was the one that forced me into giving up my virginity when I really w didn't want to. 
forced. Yeah. He talked you into it? Yeah. Talked you into it. There's no force. Okay, he persuaded me into giving up my virginity right. when I wasn't ready. Wait, well, he was obviously ready. You gave it up. No, I wasn't ready. Looking back on it, you weren't ready. My, matru- my mind wasn't mature enough to say, F you, I'm not ready. Um, he kept putting the pressure on me. First, when we first met, I think I touched on it sometime during our last show. When I met him, I said to him, I was like, look, I'm a virgin. I'm not interested in having sex. I know you're 18 and you're probably popping and locking all over the place. If you want to be with me, fine, but I'm not trying to engage in any type of sexual activities with you. At first, he said he understood. Uh, For our younger viewers, popping and locking is a dance move. (laughs) Go ahead. Anyway, I told him I wasn't interested in having sex. And originally, he agreed and said he'll wait. But that slowly started changing as time went on. And as time went on, the mind manipulation started. Oh, I'm a man with needs. How are you going to do this? You're supposed to be my girl. You're supposed to take care of this. You want me to go out there and mess with somebody else? Like, started brainwashing me. Brainwash. And eventually, it, was, it started working. Because I was like... No, I don't want you to go out there and have sex with anybody else. Oh, so if I do this, you'll stay. Oh, poor me. But he stayed though, right? He still cheated. Oh. He still cheated. See, on his you team. dudes messed it up for everybody else. The woman that he was with prior to meeting me, he cheated on me with her. And I'm like, okay, so I gave up your, my virginity. It was totally whack. When I did it, I was like, Oh my God, this is what everybody's talking about? My first experience was so horrible. I was like, oh, hell no. I was like, I, I can't do this. This is this is not where it's at. My first experience was a <sighs> little different. My first thought was, you mean they want me to wait to get married to feel like this? I swear to God. Fuck them. This is the greatest thing since sliced bread. Whoever invented sex should get a Nobel Prize. This is... Phenomenal. How old are you? God, I was 12, 13. Was this with your... Yeah. This is when the pillow and the roll is in the head? Yeah. Did we talk about that on camera yet? I don't think we... I think you started no, talking about no. it a little bit. No, you did. When we had the kids on, you, you oh. brought it up a little bit. Oh, okay, okay, okay. You want to tell people about that? Kind <laughs> of tell them about what? The whole situation. I, uh... <clears throat> I had sex at an early age. A lot of it. Yes. Oh, yo. Oh my God. Okay. So, since we're talking about it, um, the difference between one man and the next man in regards to how they enjoy it is how many sensors they have down there, how many you know receptors they have down there, and surprisingly, my family is is has a plethora of of sensors down there. It was it blew my mind. What? No, keep talking. Okay, so putting that aside for just a moment. Females. Same thing about the sensors, but it's... Now, this is from my experience. You're looking at me like I don't know. No, I'm trying to figure out where you're going with this. Some girls enjoy sex and some girls don't because of the amount of sensors they have down there. And the ones that don't, it sucks for you guys because it is phenomenal. It'll change your life. It is. What are you saying? Huh? What are you saying? Huh? What are you saying? When when I was younger, and I I got my first taste, it was amazing. I couldn't think about anything else. It was the reason for life. I just want to grow up and make a lot of money so I can do this over and over and over again. What? So do you think the reason why you are the way you are now? Cause just because I had sex early, right? And, and I were, really really and liked you were it. Abused. It may have. you consider yourself, technically speaking, you, you've you said it, that you consider yourself yeah. a sex addict, right? Okay, so it may have influenced a lot of what I did up until her recently, but now I'm older and I, I know better. Do you want to speak about any of your experiences? What do you mean? Those experiences that may have triggered the way you are now. Well, that that first one was was major. That first time I actually had sex. 
maybe I would have been a different guy if I maybe would have waited till later. But then I probably would have looked back and like, oh my God, I could have been doing this the whole time. Well, looking back on it now, do you think that you were sexually violated? No, no, I was in. I was all in. With all situations? Well, there were some situations where <clears throat> that happened that... And I just want to let you know, although you are a man, no one's going to look at you as... Okay, okay, so there were some instances where I was not mature enough to know that this was wrong. But I wasn't the one initiating, so I mean I didn't I didn't understand what was going on or why we were doing this or you know, I, it didn't make any sense. It just didn't feel right, but you know. What was what was the this? Or you don't huh? want to talk about it? Well, I mean, we did, open it was, up, we might as well open up cuz I'm a I'm a well I'm going to try to be as open as I possibly can. You know what I mean? But. Now, now, and the only reason why I said that because I honestly, I'm, I'm, I want to finish my book. You get to write a book? Yeah. Yeah? I'm in I it? I told you about it. Can I be in it? No, it's about my relationship. You can't be in it. Hell, I'm your friend. You got a relationship? No. It's a friendship. It's a ship. No. I'm not in it. Ew. Just go. So, the first time I consensually had sex... My mind was blown, and it helped shape who I was for decades. I'm older now, and I just realized what I want to do with the rest of my life, but, you know, it took a while. I mean, everybody every, everybody doesn't def, uh, define themselves, you know, in, in their hold 20s. Hold on, hold on, hold on. That's not what I just asked you. Huh? We were supposed to tell you. I asked you, looking back on it now, were you violated? And then I thought you were going to go into the... I mean, like I said, if you don't want to talk about it, you can definitely tell me. Why are you laughing? I'm talking about everything. What's up? How are you... How... What happened? Who violated... You don't have to say who violated you, but what happened? You said you knew it was wrong. What was wrong? Well, this person... We should probably do that on the, 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 the molestation episode. No, we can bring it back up again because this is good. The <laughs> listeners want to know how much time we have. We got time. So, all right. So, look, look. So, we grew up. I grew up in a time when things were different than they are now. So, a lot of people did things they weren't supposed to do. And, you know, you kind of just block it out and keep moving. I mean, I can't, I can't really condone or, or say that, you know, R. Kelly, you know, because of his past, you know, we give him a a pass or whatnot because, I mean, I'm a, a grown-ass man. I had some shit happen, and, you know, I still came out pretty cool. I don't I don't go around kicking cats and beating, killing dogs and, and, and going out of my way to hurt everybody, hurt anybody or try to, you know, make anybody feel in a way that I wouldn't want someone to treat me. did not answer the question so if you don't want to answer just let me know and we can move past but i said what was the situation that occurred that made you think now as you look back on it that was wrong okay so there was this one time when i was laying in bed and an older female asked me to touch her down there and i have no idea why you know but you know, this is a friend of the family. I can't remember. I just remember what it had to be because they were in my room. We, you know, it was a, a regular thing for her to be there. Why? How old was she? Why was it a regular thing for her to be there? I don't was, know. She I was, like, was she a babysitter or something? No, I don't. I, I can't remember. I was like three or four. I mean, this is one of my earliest memories, and I don't know who it was. And three or four. Oh, my goodness. I can't remember who it was, but I remember what I did. You know, I touched it, and I moved my hand around, and I did what she wanted me to. And then she got in the shower, and then I went to sleep. Oh. I didn't remember that till like, way later. Like, oh, yeah, that did happen. Totally forgot about that. But, I mean, that didn't help shape Something who Something helped trigger that memory? I, I don't know what triggered it, but, you know, every now and then a memory would come back from when I was way too young to remember. And I was like, wow. That's so you were sexually violated? Well, you know, most of us were, so it really didn't matter. So sad. But I mean, you know, I didn't let it affect my relationships with 
females, you know. But it affected you. Well, no, 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 that didn't affect me. I mean, I remember it happening. I mean, I totally forgot about that for so Why long. Why do you think that you were addicted to sex oh. if you don't think that affected you? Okay, so that first consensual... Okay, so uh, see, I can't say that without them knowing who it is. Or, you know, eventually when they come on. <sighs> okay, so <laughs> the first person I had sex with, it was... It blew my mind. And from that point going forward, I couldn't think about nothing but sex. I was, it was my, my main motivation for working, getting a nice job. Oh, girls like cars? Oh, okay, let's get a car. They like, you, you like to make, make a lot of money? Okay, let's do that. Let's do that. So everything was sexually motivated once you got your first hit. Yeah. Well, every, consensual everything. hit. Because everything. I'm sure you had... If she was making you do all of that with the hands, I'm sure she... Oh, no, no. These are two different people. Yes, I know. That's why oh. I said when you started having consensual sex... Right. Everything you did was sex motivated. You knew girls like nice cars, so you wanted to get a nice car so you could have sex with them. <laughs> yes. You knew girls like money and need their bills paid, so you made sure I had enough money bills paid. and paid bills. Just gonna, so you you're gonna have, have to work it off. Them. Working it off was my favorite phrase. Working it off. So you was pimping chicks? I could, I don't know, maybe that was a sugar daddy or something. Hey, if you guys, yeah. if anybody out there need a bill I'm paid. I'm older now, I'm more responsible and mature now. If you need a bill paid. Every now and then I will use that, I'll work it off phrase. <laughs> you have to work it off, but listen, that bill's working it off. Hey, you get some bills? I got, I got some money, you got some bills? No, I'm playing. No, you're not. I, I'm still trying to hook him up for his. Can y'all help me get no, him no, no, a no, birthday? No, 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 no. I'm on my grind right now. I'm, I'm working and and paying off credit cards, and I'm gonna learn Spanish this year. I'm gonna learn how to ride motorcycles. I'm gonna get my my first tattoo. I'm gonna. I got a whole list of stuff I want to do this year. That you know. What? So you can't date in between that? Well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna wait till the, like the middle of the year after I knock a few things out and date because I gotta I gotta be on my grind. Because if I start dating now, I'm gonna start spending money on. On, on dinners and, and traveling and doing stuff. And I want to do that uh, that indoor uh, skydiving thing. And I want to go parasailing. There's stuff I want to do that if I'm in a relationship, I'm going to go ahead and knock out. And I got to, you know, I'm gonna take care of some stuff first. Anyway, um, did you want to finish? Did you want to wrap up anything that you didn't get a chance to wrap up? Because I know we spoke about several different things tonight. So... I guess we're I we're like not show gonna see. Like, uh... <laughs> we're not gonna see eye to eye on this eighteen year an adult thing, huh? No, I'm not. Even I, though I, by law you can't sign a contract Kim until you're eighteen. Because just helped me prove my point. She just helped me prove my point. She said she don't think she was mentally ready then. Like looking back on it now, I'm sure she probably won't be able. She wouldn't do it again. She wouldn't do it again. And that's but why that she, helped her become who she is today. How do you know that? Well, everything that she, everything First that of all, she was raising a grown us. man. How how does that help her? She pro it probably helps her realize she don't want to raise no more grown men. Well, you learn age. Hey, There's a silver lining in everything. Oh, honey, and I know everything about raising a grown man. Okay, but we were the same. I think I was one month older than him, and oh my Jesus, I will never raise a grown man in my life again. Woo! I am so happy that person is gone. Well, you never know how it's gonna be gone. until you get into the relationship, and then you're like, oh, you got me. That was one of the worst experiences of my life. I'll look at that person now when they, because they follow me on Instagram. And when I see their notification come up because they like a picture of mine, I'm like. Ooh. They still check you out? <laughs> yeah. I'm, I am I pray for his girlfriend. I'm like, oh, I hope she has a lot of patience. Because she going to need it. Oh, Jesus, Lord. I'm so happy that issue was long gone. Okay. Thank you for the lesson. So, so. We're not going to see Ida on 18, but if you own the music, you can still play it, or you're not just going to no, nothing. No, I'm not playing nothing. And then I realized that he wrote a lot of songs for people. Um, I think one of my favorite songs by Maxwell, he wrote and produced. So now i got to do my my homework. You, okay, let me get this right. Because he wrote and produced I mean, song, okay, I may Maxwell still listen to that. It. I may still listen to Maxwell singing it, but I'm just saying, like... So I, everything he had his hands on... You're like, ban them. And there's like a movement on, on Facebook to do this? It's called Mute R. Kelly. Is it really? Yeah, they're 
you really need to read I, up I really on it. Like, gotta take the there's an there. organization. Um, he's not even guilty of anything, right? He's he's not going to jail for nothing. I mean, he's not. He's not guilty of anything that he um, allegedly he was not convicted. All right, so allegedly, not allegedly, he's, he clearly wasn't convicted. I don't have to say that because all right, so look it up. He's not guilty of anything. Records. Yeah, but what the mute R. Kelly. Um, movement is to stop his concerts like there's a particular group that goes around and if they know he's having a, a concert in a state they will go and protest and etc and do all of that so I, I love it yeah yeah he's been winning for too long as my cousin said there were uh, there were people in his um movement in his camp that was allowing him to get away with the crap that he was allowed to get away with was he wasn't the one making... that was going to get these women. He was sending his um, road manager, oh, go go and get me one of those and bring them back. And let me get this right. The At one point in time, come, R. Kelly was The girls would come. It. Yeah, because they thought that he will help them get into the limelight of the music industry. And they didn't know that, okay, maybe he's not helping me, I should leave. They couldn't think for themselves. We're speaking about kids that's 16, 17... 18 years old. So really, we should blame those kids. You're parents. thinking about, well, yeah, definitely. We're, we're, exactly. Where was the parent? So in the little girl's mindset, she's like, okay, I want to become a star. This is R. Kelly, who's already a star. He tells, He's telling me that he can help me in this particular area. Um, All I, gotta do is I know this. he just tried to kiss me. But I'm going to stay? Uh, this don't feel right, but if this, was, if it's, this is what it's going to take, to get to that, then so be it. Yeah, so I, I blame the kid's parents. Oh, absolutely. So it's not R. Kelly. He only got away with what he can get away with. It's a combination of everybody, okay? Is it really it's, a he doesn't get, no, because nobody took his, you know what, and then, yeah, no. I blame the parents for not providing guidance and protection for your child and knowing their whereabouts, because my little child, I know all her movements. I don't you know everything she does, but I know where she's at. God damn it. You got that tracker thing on her phone? Yes. Find my phone, okay? And she just asked me the other day, Mom, can I go to a hotel party? I said, uh... Oh. She did that? She asked you that? Yeah. To go with who? So one of her friends is having a birthday party. It's a birthday party. And I said, you can go to the hotel party if I know the person's name. I have to know the name of the hotel, the address of the hotel, and the room number. You can go. And you can... And she was like, you're doing too much. I said, well, then you can't go. <laughs> Then would you, you can't would you, go. Would you have gotten a room in the same hotel just to be close? No. I just, as long as I have the name of the person, their phone number, the address of the hotel, and the room number, you can go. She was like, you're doing too much. I was like, okay. Then you can't go. But then she ended up telling me that she find out that they're going to be smoking and drinking at that party. So she decided she doesn't even want to be bothered anymore. So kudos to my baby. Raising her well. I actually got excited because I was like, okay, well, you know. That's you confirmation right that I'm decision. doing. Right. That's confirmation so as a mom that I'm doing a pretty good job. Those kids' parents didn't do a good job. job. R. Kelly, I mean, I mean, if you're 18, I mean, or, you know, whatever your state is, you know, he was just doing him. And he's not convicted of anything, so he's not going to jail, so we're going to need to, I mean. Guys, if you're in your 20s and older, Leave those teenagers alone. And I'm right. talking about teenagers all the way up to 19. Really? If the number ends in teens, leave them alone. If they can't sign a contract, leave them alone. He had them signing fake contracts too. Word. He had them, <laughs> he he? Had them find, signing contracts and also lying on paper saying... Um, I'm I, 18? No, lying on paper saying, you stole this, you stole that, you did this.